So basically, there are two sets of systems in your brain. One is a sleep system, one is a wake system. The sleep system is located in one area in the brain, the ventral lateral preoptic area. And unless you have a test tomorrow, there's no reason to remember the name of that place. But the VLPO is pretty much the only sleep center in the brain. In, and it is controlled by essentially GABA and galanin. But it's about 99% GABA. Galanin is a minor peptide. OK, in contrast, the wake system has a series of neurotransmitters and a series of loci associated with it. So we have dopamine, norepinephrine, histamine, hypocretin, acetylcholine. So very clearly, an orexin, and, and the master of all of that seems to be orexin, which is really amazing if you think about it, because Luis de la Seca didn't describe orexin, the discovery of hypocretin, as he called it, until 1998. So it's really, really pretty amazing. But that seems to control the whole thing. Does anybody know if you don't have hypocretin or orexin, and you, so you don't have wake systems, what do you get? Narcolepsy, that's right. So patients with type 1 narcolepsy have no orexin cells. Those 60,000 cells or 30,000 cells in the hypothalamus don't exist in those people. So it's not complicated. If you give agonists to, to sleep-enhancing drugs, you get sleep if you give... Now, so what's very, very important to understand, though, is what is, the, what is the appropriate approach? So one of the things that's very interesting, since 1960, when Hoffman always just, you know, pr produced things like chlorodiazepoxide, we always produce sleep agents, including alcohol, which work on the sleep system, GABA, but it turns out that insomnia, as I'll show you, is an ab abnormality of the wake system. And, and we'll see that orexin antagonists are being used now, histamine antagonists are being used now, so these are used more and more and more. And, and in fact, serotonin, how many people in here have used Seroquel as a sleep agent? Well, why have you done that? It's not in the label, and the reason you do that, because it says so right here, to promote sleep, we inhibit histamine, uh, we inhibit serotonin, 5-HT2A. So very clearly, clinicians knew this, so what we don't know is what doses of these drugs, but very clearly, you can promote sleep by inhibiting wake systems, or you can promote sleep by enhancing sleep systems. The problem here is you get a lot of CNS suppression, the advantage here is you're addressing the pathology.